Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Walrus Cast, the show where we like to talk to people who know things about stuff. Today on the Walrus Cast Soapbox, we have a pair of gentlemen who are coming on to the Radioactive Walrus Network with their new podcast. I'd like to introduce Alex and Tim. Uh, would you guys mind uh, saying who you guys are? Uh, yes, I'm Tim. Uh, I've known Alex for years, and I've uh, been playing World of Warcraft for... Well, uh, see what year is it? It's 2015. So it is indeed. About 11 years. I mean, I can't even keep track of it. I have to go back and look at the billing records. So. Uh, and. And it. Alex, what about you? And I'm Alex. I've been gaming for since I was about five and 25 now, 26 actually. Uh, and I like to refer to Tim as the veteran. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so how did you guys meet? You want to take this one, Alex? Sure. Um, so in World of Warcraft, the main goal is to, well, what some people consider the main goal is to level up. So during the leveling process, I was playing a healer back, oh god, this was a long, long time ago before looking for group came into the mix and made things easier, where you actually had to stand in trade chat and be like, hey, looking for group for this. And um, we actually we got a group together. We were running um, one of the longest low-level dungeons. Uh, what was that dungeon we called it through? Uh, I think it was uh, Black Rock Depths. Yeah, Black Rock Depths, before they split it up into four or five dungeons. And um, our tank left out of nowhere, and Tim was a tank, and or was it, sorry, was a warrior. And this is back in Burning Crusades. The warriors were pretty much tanks no matter what. And uh, I was a priest healer, so I was like, hey, why don't you just slap on a shield and keep one of your two handers on, and I'll heal you through the dungeon. All right. And uh, ever since then, you've uh, been the best of friends, I take it? Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Alex has even uh, worked for me in real life, so, I mean, I'd say... We've met each other in real life, even though I live in Texas and he lives in uh, Indiana, Ohio. Ohio now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I understand that uh, you have some history with uh, doing a show before, but uh, what is the name of your new show that you're bringing to the Radioactive Walrus Entertainment Network? So our new show is going to be called World of Warcraft. It's a play on words from uh, World of Warcraft, obviously. And mm -hmm. the Warcraft is because we're going to be one of the few podcasts that's going to very heavily tell everybody the lore or the history in layman's terms of the game. Fantastic. I can't wait to hear more. Uh, to be totally honest, I'm also really excited because this is the first podcast uh, that's on the network that I'm pretty much not involved with. I'm completely taking my hands off of it. You guys are in control. Well, we'll try not to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, so what gave you the idea to do your show to begin with? Uh, well, uh, basically that would be Alex. He's been on me for a while. I was on one of his episodes before and... It was a short-lived uh, little experience because the power went out over here. It was storming real bad, and uh, I live out in the country, so my internet, you know, would just depends on the weather. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But uh, he's he's the one. He's the driving force behind this. He really really likes this type of stuff, the uh, podcasting, and uh, he's really passionate about the video games and stuff we play. We do whenever we're involved in them, and. Uh, so he's pretty much driving force behind all this. Fantastic. I now I understand there was a show before this. Yeah, or, it was called D Fries Are Done. It okay. was uh, relatively, relatively close to what we were doing or what we're going to be doing with this show, but there was only just me and Chris at the time, and uh, Chris is the third person. 
okay. we'll get to later on. But uh, he was picking up extra shifts and things like that. That's why he couldn't join us today because he's now working two jobs doing Taekwondo and has a girlfriend for the first time. <laughs> Quite a plateful there. Yeah. But it, so it, we kind of had problems with getting schedules together and everything like that. And this show, I figure, with three of us, at least two of us, are going to show up because it's kind of hard to do a podcast by yourself. That's Not impossible. But hard. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Uh, so, uh, as you mentioned, there is a third person, and his name is Chris. Correct. Uh, what can you tell me about Chris? Well, uh, me and Chris actually go back further than me and Tim. Uh, Chris was actually in the dungeon with me and Tim when we met. Uh, I kind of I met him through a mutual friend who I have not had contact with in a long time, and. Uh, I mean, he's he's the youngest of us. He's 20, 21, maybe most 20, even. So uh, I like to refer to him as the younger younger person yeah. in the podcast. I guess I would be the old man then. Yeah, you, you are the veteran because you've been there since, what, beta? Yeah. So, yeah, it was really weird how it all started with uh, me even getting interested in this video game. I had a friend of mine. I've always played video games. I got into computers. My first online video game was Wolfram, and uh, it was an online tank game. And uh, a friend of mine said, "Hey, you like online gaming? Won't you try this World of Warcraft?" And you know, uh, so I tried it out, and I got in on the beta a little bit, and then it, you know, I played it, and I said, "I, I ain't ever paying to play this game." And then I started paying to play this game, so <laughs> it was. And then it just progressed from there. I mean, uh, my ex-wife, uh, which Alex has met, is, I mean, we were just in the world of Warcraft. I'm, I got it at a healthy level now when it first, you know, I was a lot younger then. I'm a little older now, so, you know, I, I take more, I got my priorities in order, so. But there for a while, I mean, uh, it got bad. I was building extra computers so that I would have playtime to myself because, like, my wife, we couldn't share a computer because we were fighting over who got to play, and uh, I was like, "Well, I got to build another computer now so I can play," you know. And, but it's a it's a pretty fun game, I guess. The uh, biggest draw to it for me is uh, just the people, the people you get to meet. Uh, you know, uh, that's how I met Alex and Pon uh, Chris. I always want to call him Pony by his character name, but that's who I mean, Chris. But uh, I've met a lot of interesting people. Fair enough. And uh, Alex, what do you think that the big draw for uh, World of Warcraft is? Well, the draw for most games, is, in, when it comes to MMOs, is people and loot. And that fat loot, when you get that purple drop, and you know that it's the best of the best for you, and it just that's the big draw. I feel like that, and then um, raids. Raids have gotten a little worse as the game's gone on, but it used to be like 40 people would get together on a single night to go, do, go kill, you know, X amount of bosses, and it was the camaraderie, the loot, and it just, I think that's that's your mixture there, pretty much. That and the lore, there's, uh, prior to World of Warcraft, there was actually Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, Warcraft uh, there was an expansion for Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, and then Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. So they kind of set up the lore for the World of Warcraft, which will actually get into the lore a lot of our podcasts. So. Alright, and it says in your description that you'll also be uh, going into more games by Blizzard. Now, as a pretty neutral gamer, I don't really do much. Uh, what other games are there out there by Blizzard? Well, I can tell you the most addictive one I've found on my phone right now is Hearthstone. <laughs> Hearthstone is, uh, if you ever played any of the tr uh, trade card games, trading card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, that's basically what Hearthstone is, only it's a World of Warcraft Pokemon card game, pretty much. And then they've also got, um, I'm sure you've heard of League of Legends or Dota. Of course, I've listened. I've heard of League of Legends. My friend uh, Toasterman XD also plays it. 
Yeah, uh, well, they've got a version of it called Heroes of the Storm that's a little more noob-friendly, so I can actually play that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair it's, enough. It's along the same lines, and they're also coming out with a, um, a new game called... Uh, God, I can't remember. What's that? The first-person shooter, Tim. Help me out here. What? Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a first-person shooter, sort of, like Halo style, only you're going to, your character's going to have special abilities, like one of them's, your char- one character's name is Death, and he like insta-kills one person or something like that. Um, it's pretty cool. No, it looks pretty cool, I should say. I haven't gotten into the beta yet. I'm trying. And then they've also got StarCraft. They've got uh, Diablo, which I'm sure you've heard of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you go back and back, you know, in time, there's the Lost Vikings. There was, uh, uh, shoot, what was the racing game? Do you remember, Tim? Oh, man, I don't remember. I, but you're talking like old school. I don't, I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah, they've, got, they've made quite a few games, and they now work with uh, Activision. So. Oh, yeah. okay. So uh, do you uh, you play a lot of console games there, do you? I'm sorry, what? Do you play a lot of console games? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Uh, mostly for me, it's emulators. But, uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I'll tell you what. I played Diablo on the computer, and the Xbox setup to me is probably about the best setup for that game. Okay. If I can find a, a working copy of Diablo, I'll see if I can play it. It's, it's, it's really set up nice. Uh, I like it. It plays well on the console. I wouldn't believe it would have transitioned over as easy, but it, it did. Great. Well, I uh, do you have anything else to add to uh, the lore or anything that you would like to announce or plug? Uh, well, actually, with this first episode, um, we kind of wanted to throw out a, a, um, a little teaser. We're going to be going over the lore of the most recent book, War Crimes, um, and we're going to be starting our lore there because that's current lore, and we're going to go from current back in time. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, well, thank you for being on the